Hi, I'm John Simon. I'm a product and applications manager at Intrepid Control Systems, and I'm here at Testing Expo North America today in Novi to talk about our network development tools for software-defined vehicles and zonal architectures. I have a number of different tools here that serve different purposes and different use cases. Uh, the first here is the Radmoon 2. It is a media converter between automotive, automotive Ethernet 100 or 1000 base T1 on a single twisted pair shielded cable and it's converted to traditional Ethernet on a Cat5 or Cat6 cable with four twisted pairs. In the middle here I have a Rad Gigastar which is a dual active tap used for monitoring and simulating automotive Ethernet. It also houses two SFP modules. In this case I'm using modules that support 100 and 1000 base T1 as well as Ma demonstrating MaxSec and TC10 which is automotive ethernet power moding. Over in this rack here I have the RAG Galaxy 2. This is very similar to the RAG Gigastar. It's an active tap but it has 16 ports therefore eight active taps available for monitoring network activity on automotive ethernet. Above it is a RAD Epsilon. This is a switch geared towards automotive ethernet development so it has six 100 slash 1000 T1 ports and two 10 gig ports. ports. As an added uh, bonus feature, it also houses a NVIDIA Jetson that can be used for embedded Linux development with automotive ethernet applications. Above it, we have another variant of Rad Epsilon, Rad Epsilon XL. This has 16 100 slash 1000 base T1 ports. And then finally above it is another variant of Rad Epsilon called Rad, Rad Epsilon T. The T, uh, the significance of the T meaning it's more of a thousand base T device supporting traditional ethernet for non-automotive applications. The demo I have here at a high level is a video stream coming from this IP camera going through all of our devices to the NVIDIA Jetson which is receiving and rendering the video. So, this diagram shows the path of this, this demo. The camera comes into the Rad Moon, is converted from regular Ethernet to single twisted pair Ethernet. It goes through the active tap of the Rad Gigastar. On the way through these active taps, it's going through these two SFP modules where it's encrypted by one phi in this SFP module and decrypted by the phi on the other side. They share the same key. Um, then the stream comes out decrypted to the RAD Epsilon where it's received by the NVIDIA Jetson. Uh, on top of all this we have the RAD Galaxy 2 and its job is to monitor the traffic at each hop in this network. So it's monitoring the pre-encrypted traffic directly from the RAD Moon. It's monitoring between these two SFP ports where the, it is encrypted and then decrypted and then it's monitoring the decrypted uh, traffic. So all of this traffic can be uh, observed using uh, our open source API with our hardware. It can also be observed with vehicle spies. You can see in this view right here, we have the data from the camera, the data that was encrypted by the SFPs, and then the decrypted data. So again, all of these devices serve different uh, use cases in network to, in network development for software-defined vehicles and zonal architectures. If you have any questions on how these might serve your needs or solve your problems, please contact us at Intrepid Control Systems. Thank you.